and 10th seeds from the Western Conference go head to head. One will continue on to the next game. The other will see their season end. I'm Kevin Harlan. We've got Steve Smith and Greg Anthony alongside. And our sideline reporter tonight, David Aldridge. Now Sacramento starting five. Murray out there with Sabonis. Then it's Ellis. Then it's De'Aaron Fox. And it's Barnes and at the three spot. And for New Orleans, Cohen is out there with Jones. Then there's Jonas Valanciunas. Then it's Ingram. And it's Williamson at the four spot. And Greg, something to keep an eye on in this one, the big man. Both these teams have talented front courts. You're exactly right. Both rely on their bigs. And, and the winner of the game is probably going to be the team that wins that front court matchup. So Sacramento will get the first possession. Now, here's Sabonis. The kick out to Barnes. Six on the shot clock. Back from outside. Zion Williamson grabs the miss. And it's McCollum in the corner. Alan Jr. trying to free himself up. And McCollum the bucket on the assist from Williamson. This demonstrates how confident CJ is. Wasting no time and firing away. Here's a bonus. The kick out to Barnes. Oh, good on the three. 0 for 3 now in the early going. Just a little bit out of sync. Jones with it. Picked up by Ellis. And you can see he just didn't get squared up with his feet. And about a minute gone here in the first quarter. They get a hand on it and taken away by Ellis. Here's Barnes, and the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. The powerful frame of Barnes went right through the foul like the defender wasn't Shooting even there. Sacramento. Sacramento is shooting their first free throw attempt on the night. Shooting one. is just such a tough cover. He has the ability to play both four positions. And so it's McCullough. He'll bring it up for the New Orleans Pelicans. Out to the right wing. Here's Williamson. Murray with the defensive effort. The Kings have gone just one of four to get this game started. Ellis, the pass to Sabonis. And here's Jones. Just over a minute and a half played here in this one. A putback. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. The persistence of Valanchun is paying off in a big way on the glass. He is just a tremendously hard worker. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Willie Green gave me a few minutes to talk with him. They won the first game against this team, but he is not taking anything for granted. He wants his players to be even more assertive offensively this time. He said, I think we can dictate things a little more. Maybe force those guys into defensive matchups they dislike. Find points that way. Well, we'll see if they can do that and go up 2-0 tonight. Kevin, back to you. All right, David, we'll see if their strategy will pay off. Greg centering their efforts now on generating points. Yeah, and I can understand what they're trying to do here. Come out of the gates with some heat. And it forces your opponent's best scores to expand energy at the defensive end. Makes the strategy a win-win. Here's McCollum. The Kings getting the buck. Here's Valanciunas. Banked in off the glass. Valanciunas has got his second bucket of the night. Those are the plays where you see the strength of Valanciunas. The contact didn't bother him at all. The pass to Fox. Stolen by McCollum. Ingram against Dallas. Ingram left side. It's Ingram on the wing.
And it's Sacramento with the rebound. Sabonis has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. The kick out to Fox. Launches a three. And he's good on the three ball. Fox must continue to work on that shot. When he's knocking it down from there, boy, the D is in trouble. Now here's Ingram. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. And it's sent back by Sabonis. Offensive rebound. Valanciunas. And at last, they get one to fall. And the D getting out work there on the putback. Can't let that happen. For some reason, blocking out has become a lost art, and that's the result you'll get. So the Kings call timeout. They're first. Trying to find some answers offensively. Yeah, these guys need to work together as a team, as a unit. Try and carve out some easy buckets. The Kings have gotten three of eight shots to fall for them here in the first quarter. Jones against Fox. Murray outside. Top of the key. That shot off. And New Orleans will go the other way with it. McCollum against Dillis. And the basket by McCollum. This is why you have to stay attached to C.J. McCollum. He can bury it from anywhere on the floor. Ellis kicks to Fox. And Jones sends it back. Well, not really his best quarter as far as scoring, but let's see if he can eventually get back on track. Ellis can't get it to go. And the pressure he put on that shot forced the miscue. The rim protection at its finest. The result is the same whether you block the shot or simply change it. Now, here's Valanciunas. Count it. Valanciunas has got eight points. His assist numbers have grown. C.J. McCollum, pass on time. Fox feeling it out a bit. A floater. Ellis kicks to Barnes. Sabonis, the pass to Ellis. Lock at six. Nice deep from Valanciunas. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. And it's Ingram missing. I don't know how many misses that is in a row, but I know it's ugly. Ellis dishes to Fox. Barnes outside. Passes it to Murray. To end the cold streak. Nailed from three-point land. Three. Murray's got his second basket of the game. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Pass to Williamson. Pass to Ingram. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for New Orleans. Brandon Ingram. Shooting one. It's so fun to see Brandon Ingram evolve. He's a true student of the game, and each year he keeps improving. Timeout called by the Kings. Well, it's a player's lead, but certainly coaching has its place. Yeah, if that weren't the case, you wouldn't see so many coaching changes in the offseason. Sacramento with the ball. Trailing by five. Close finds Fox. Fires for three. And another three yeah, for Sacramento. Fox. Some for guys just understand how to generate points. He's one of them. And the pass to Valanciunas. It's not going to go for him. Nice D from Sabonis. 
Ellis against Ingram. Shot from free throw range. Rebounded by Valanciunas. Valanciunas has got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. And that one's good, Williamson. And the Pelicans lead by four. They're scoring boatloads of buckets. It's raining buckets from inside. Passes to Fox. Shot clock at five. And there's a whistle. That goes on Herbert Jones. That'll be his second foul of the game. Davion Mitchell jacked in for Barnes. King substitution. You gotta love strong defense, especially when it comes in the form of harsh rejection. Wow. Sharp instincts on D there. Just timing. Need to rise up and swat that one away. Here's a bonus. He had 15 points last out. It's stolen by Jones. Pass to McCollum. Three-pointer. And they recover it. Williamson kicks to McCollum. Shot clock at six. And it goes down two points. And now a six-point Pelican lead. Now off to a strong start here early. Six points off second-chance buckets. There's the lob to Sabonis. Hammers the alley-oop through. And how about the communication between teammates on that alley-oop? And that's what you need to pull that thing off. Here's McCollum. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It's going to go on Javion Mitchell. Such a pure score. The defense getting too aggressive on C.J. McCollum. Now let's take a moment to get your guys' take on the scoring so far for the Pelicans. It's all about the fire they're playing with early on. Crashing the boards and the result, second chance points. And another thing, guys, they've been very active tonight. Frequently creating scoring opportunities off turnovers. That free throw, no good. CJ has always been a gifted scorer, but he's shown significant improvement as a playmaker, which makes him even more dangerous with the ball in his hands. Good on the second free throw. The Kings trailed by five. Mitchell outside. He can't get it to go. Some solid defense from Ingram. And they've come out with a take no prisoners approach on the glass here tonight, guys. Great ball movement by B.I. Spots a wide open teammate and feeds him. Now, here's Mitchell. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. First personal foul. It's his first trip to the line. Team foul. At the line for the Kings. Davion Mitchell. At the line for two. And he can't get the first one. He hits the second from the line. Ingram. 25 points last game. An easy two points on the layup. Ingram's got five points so far. 
Not a lot of resistance on the inside, and they're taking full advantage. Ellis outside. Over McCollum. Sacramento again missing. A uh, team's rebounding is a great measure of its energy, and theirs has been terrific here in the first quarter. Here's Ingram. Again, the Pelicans score. Defensively, they've got to pick up the intensity. Hard to win surrendering this high a field goal percentage. Mitchell feeling it out a bit. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. And the rejection by Valanciunas. Valanciunas, he's got that long wings, man. You saw it right there on that play. And after missing four straight, he finally gets one to go. And first time out of the game Pelican. called for New Orleans. Changes for Sacramento. Lang comes in for Sabonis. And Trey Lyles subbed in for Murray. It's stolen by Lyles. Ellis outside. 135 left to play in the first quarter. He's kind of lost his way this period, having a hard time getting anything to go down. Here's Williamson, Lang with the block, and he's able to get it back. Out to the right wing. Off target from outside. The Kings trail by seven. Here's Ellis, and Ellis Here. throws it down. Ellis. And that's a little this like a fight, fight at the defensive end. Uh, absolutely, at least on that slam, you're right. That's one way to let a team back in the game. Yeah, defensively, your mantra at this point has to be no easy buckets. All the officials are all over that. And this is his second trip to the line in the game. At the line for New Orleans, Brandon Ingram. Taking two shots. First one falls. And he can't hit the second. And so it's Mitchell who brings up the ball to Sacramento. Six point game. To get open his land behind the back and lays it in. And that's something for the team's fans and for his highlight reel. Last game for the Kings, they pick up the W against the Golden State Warriors. Here's Ingram. It's hauled in by the Kings. He's tried to get it going, but the shots simply have not been there. Nothing seems to be falling. Releases from 15. Almost, but it rolls out. And the shots just continue to say no in terms of fall. Here's Williamson, and he banks in the lane. We talk about Zion's strength, but the body control is also elite, especially for a guy his size. Here's Mitchell. And here we go. Williamson heading to the hoop. Oh, yes. With the reputation of a highlight reel dunker, Zion's always ready to put on a show. And so the first quarter is in the books. Pelicans lead by eight. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. 24. Pelicans fans, here's your And welcome for the second quarter of this critical play-in game. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from New Orleans? I love their effort, contesting shots, trying to intimidate here early on. And you can see it's already having an impact. It can cause shooters to think twice. We've got Brandon Ingram. Larry Nance out there with Williamson. 
And it's Alvarado in at the one spot. That's the Pelicans five as we get into the second quarter. And that one's good. Ingram plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Mitchell passes to Barnes. Here's Murray. His last outing, 16 points for him. Sabonis kicks to Barnes. Oh, good on the triple. New Orleans leading by 10. To the inside, here's Williamson. And Williamson throws it down. We see it night after night. Zion, relentless assault on the cup. Pass to Murray. And we're starting the second quarter, about a minute gone. Knocked loose. It's stolen by Nance. Here's Alvarado. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. For the three. Rebound by Murray. The Kings trail by 12. In the hoop for his third make from the field. He's three for four thus far in the contest. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. Here's Ingram. Nance trying to break loose. And that one's good. Ingram. Ingram's got the lead up to 12 now for the Pelicans. Now the pass to Barnes. Over to the left wing. Six on the shot clock. Sabonis trying to get open. It's tipped. And he gets it back. Pelicans leading by 10. And here is Ingram. He's got 12. And that one drops. Ingram's got 14 points for the game. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from the paint. Inside, it's stolen by Nance. Floats it up for Williamson. This is the productivity we expect from Zion. Always hunting for his next bucket. The Kings trail by 14. Mitchell with it. Oh, and there's the alley-oop. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. Here's Williamson driving inside. Rebound by Murray. Murray's got four rebounds now tonight. Back to Mitchell. Pass to Lyles. On the wing, Barnes. He's covered by Ingram. Here's Sabonis. Over Nance. And that one off the back of the rim and in. Getting inside. Sabonis finishes strong. You can see how comfortable he is shooting at that range. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. On your feet and get loud for your Pelican Fancy. Group substitution here for New Orleans. New Orleans leading by 12. McCollum outside. Pass to Daniels. Now here's Valanciunas. Eight points for him. McCollum outside. Just five to shoot. And it's Sacramento with the rebound. A drive by Barnes. And it's Barnes slamming it down. Got to give credit to Barnes there. Masterful job collecting speed on the drive and punching it through the basket. Pass to Valanciunas. Over Sabonis. No good from Valanciunas. Missed opportunity. It's a makeable shot for him. He just can't get it to go. Mitchell passes to Sabonis. Good, and it's Mitchell picking up the assist. Assisted. Sabonis has got it back down to within single digits for the Kings. Now 
Valanciunas scoring wise he's definitely making his mark right now he's averaging about 19 points a game here's McCollum shooting game foul ball. as the whistle blows Demarcus he'll shoot Sabonis. two free throws first personal foul. it's gonna go on Sabonis first team foul the Pelicans have shot three of five at the foul line CJ McCollum at the line for two Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw missing. Ellis is checked in for the Kings. De'Aaron Fox comes in for Davion Mitchell. And the second free throw, good. And so Fox will bring it up for the Kings. They trail by nine points. Sabonis kicks to Barnes. Outside, Fox. Good on the triple. De'Aaron Fox. Fox has got his third basket of the night. And that pick takes the D totally out of the equation. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. Now, here's Valanciunas. His last outing, he had eight points. Nice D from Sabonis. Here's the dish to Fox. A three ball. In the hoop for his fourth the field goal. Fox. Four for seven shooting and looking for more. And their shots are falling now with more regularity than we saw at first. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. And Coach can't like what he's seeing, trying to get them refocused. It's so easy to get run over when you lose even a little edge. Look for them to come out much more aggressive. McCollum. This one for three. Hits it from three-point range. And the Pelicans lead by six. So clever with the rock. C.J. McCollum is always looking for someone he can set up. Fox passes to Murray to answer back, but that three is off the mark. For New Orleans, they've gone 6-12 in the second quarter, right at the 50% mark from the field. To the paint. Back to Daniels. All this means is he has to be careful. Don't want to pick up a cheapie and get sent to the bench with three fouls. Zion Williamson's checked in for New Orleans. Brandon Ingram comes in for Herbert Jones. On defense, the Kings. Six point game. Valanciunas. And he finishes nicely on the way. Valanciunas has got 10 points. Continuing to stoke the fire, his shot making has been absolutely superb. Ellis dishes to Murray. Bangs home the trifecta. Murray's got seven points for the quarter. The defense a step slow, and you can see the results. Pelicans leading by five. And there's the drive. Daniels kicks to Ingram. It's McCollum on the wing. That's good, and it's Ingram with the assist. Ingram's got three assists in the game. What a jump shot from C.J. McCollum. You can the tell King. he felt good about that look. Timeout called by the Kings. Yeah, just looking to tighten up their defense in the paint. They've got to be better. It's a matter of want to. Helping out contesting shots. You have to want to make the effort. And the Kings making a change here. Miles checked in. 
The Kings trailed by seven. Here's Fox. He's got 12. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. And for a player of his size, Fox not afraid to take some contact to get to the line. He'll do it every chance he gets. And he's got his first free throw of the game. And the first one drops. And I really love Fox's game. He's got a ton of room to grow, but boy, does he play with intensity. He makes one of two that time. And battling hard on the glass, they hold the advantage here so far. Here's Williamson. And he uses the glass on the lane. Williamson's got six here in this quarter. The explosiveness gets Zion through the contact. Defender didn't stand a chance. Ellis kicks to Fox. It's rebounded by New Orleans. Alan Junis has got 11 rebounds in the game. Williamson, the pass to McCollum. To Williamson. That fall. Nice feed that time for McCollum. McCollum's got three assists tonight. McCollum against Dallas. He dishes it to Murray. Down to five on the shot clock. Shot up two there. Murray's got 14 points for the game. He's hot this quarter, getting the shots he wants, and he's delivering. Cullen passes to Williamson. And it's sent back by Sabonis! And you know, with how skilled he is offensively, Sabonis at 6'11", not known as a shot blocker, but he uses his height there on the rejection. Passes it to Valanciunas. Over Sabonis. No good from Valanciunas. It's a shot you would think he would make, but he just doesn't make it all the time. Rejected by Ingram. With that 7-3 wingspan, Brandon Ingram is having no trouble getting to that shot. Took him no time at all on that one. McCollum's got six in the quarter. Defensively, you have to tighten up on him or suffer the consequences. Here's Sabonis. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. And they haven't worked it inside as much as they did earlier in the game. Now that they have the lead, they don't seem as determined to pound it down low. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. New Orleans making a switch here. And with Sabonis, as his minutes have increased, so has his production. The, the future is bright for this young man. Now here's Ingram. 14 points for him. And the officials will call the illegal screen right there. And guys, point of emphasis for the league is to really crack down on illegal screens. Yes, the last few years, the rules changes have tended to benefit the offenses. This evens things out a bit. Got a piece of it. Here's Alvarado. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. This is why Williamson's teammates love him. He makes them look good on these alley-oops. Outside, Fox. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. And the foul on Larry Nance Jr. That's his first foul. First personal foul. Third team foul. At the elbow, it's Ellis. Pass to Lyles. Yes, and it's Ellis Trayvon. picking up the assist. 
I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. One thirty-seven left in the second quarter. Ingram passes to Nance. Kicks it out to Williamson. Six to shoot. Nance trying to break loose. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. Terrific concentration and body control. Zion showing why he was chosen number one overall. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Thirteen foul. At the line for your Pelicans, Zion Williamson. At the line for one. And free throw good from Williamson. A healthy Zion is a force to be reckoned with. Outside, Fox. Ellis outside. Uncovered. Pelicans with the rebound. Ingram's got his sixth rebound on the night. And, and they're controlling the boards, Kevin. That's plus five in that category. And his pure defensive effort changed that shot from an easy one to a tough one. And you know, technically, it's a high percentage look. But this is why we play the game. Now here's Ellis following the miss by C.J. McCollum. There's 38 seconds left in the first half. Pass to Alvarado. To the middle. Here's Williamson. It doesn't go for him. Nice D from Sabonis. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. Score the bucket. He's made five so far, shooting a very clean five of seven. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. And here is Williamson. Here he goes. Oh, no, he didn't. They just can't get stopped against this guy. Zion too strong and too athletic. And so we wrap up the first half. New Orleans on top, up by nine. It's the NBA on 2K Sports from New Orleans. 55. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. And hello again. What a showing tonight. A sold-out building is where the action is happening. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Zion Williamson was on fire in the first half. He had 21 points, two assists, and six rebounds. The first two quarters tonight looked a lot like what we saw from him in his last game. What did you think, Shaq, about New Orleans? You guys know I appreciate when the team takes it. Attack in the painted area. Get those high percentage looks good things in the half. And Kenny, what'd you see from Sacramento? They wouldn't be in such a deep hole if they hadn't given up so many options. Getting out hustled, getting moved around, losing possession. The one thing you can control is effort. That about wraps it up. Time now for the second half of the game. We go to Kevin Harlan for the call. Hi everyone, glad to have you back for third quarter action of the play-in game. You look at Zion Williamson, guys. In this game, he has been everywhere. Man, he's been running wild on him through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. This is his challenge to continue to dominate to help them try to close strong here in the second half. And welcome to the second half of this high-stakes play-in clash. Second half underway, and here's who Mike Brown's got on the floor. We've got Murray. Ellis is out there with Fox. Then it's Sabonis, and it's Barnes, and at the three, the small forward. Now here's Ingram. Loads it up for Williamson. Look at the big man, Valanchuna, showing off the playmaking skills. The Kings trail by 11. It's stolen by Valanciunas. 
And a fast break now for the Pelicans. Williamson with the ball. Dishes to Ingram. Ingram. Great positioning on the putback. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. About one minute played here in the second half. Fox, no good. Pelicans leading by 13. It's McCollum on the wing. Doesn't go for him. And it's the Kings taking it the other way. Murray, the pass to Fox. Cuts it fly. He hits the back yeah, iron Fox. and sinks the shot. Fox to... has got 15 wow. points. And so it's McCollum. He'll bring it up for the New Orleans Pelicans. Ingram outside. Just a little over 90 seconds gone in the third quarter. And there's the pass to Williamson. Shot clock at six. On deep. And DeMontis Sabonis pulls it down. Sabonis has got 13 rebounds in the game. Class eating. Barnes against Ingram. Here's Ellis. Two free throws okay. coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Zion Williamson. Yeah, good job Perfect. to take it right at the D. For Sacramento, they have gone four of six so at far the from the line, the missing Kings. a couple. Ellis at the line for two. And the first one at the line is good. Old free throws good from Ellis. He's living there tonight. A tough guy to guard without fouling. And the bonus, he's going to knock him down. Pass to Ingram. Eight for 15 with that made basket. But he's not satisfied yet. Nimble ball handling by Ingram. Allowing him to beat the D and find his shot. Sabonis, high post. Kicks to Barnes. Can't hit that one. Some solid defense from Ingram. Pelicans leading by 11. Inside and stolen by Murray. Pass to Fox. Now here's Ellis. to the wing. Wide open look here for Murray. The rebound by Brandon Ingram. Shaky start to the half. Going one for four. Still trying to find that groove. And that bucket adds to what has been a big difference in points in the paint between the two teams. Here's Ellis. Zion Williamson making his last shot. Outside Fox. No oh, good with the triple. Ugly start to this half. Hitting just 20% from the field. Gotta pick it up. Rejected by Murray. From T. Ellis. Drills it from outside. Ellis has got five points now in the quarter. And that's just showing off right there, guys. I mean, he is too good with that crossover. With some arc. McCollum, no good. The Kings trail by 10. Barnes with it. Pelican now defended five. by McCollum. And there's McCullough. a foul. It's on C.J. McCollum. That is his first Second foul of the game. Five. And the replay demonstrating once again how aggressive that defense was. And guys, that is lockdown defense at its finest. Going right at the shot and then able to knock it away. Ellis outside. Williamson knocks it away. 
and you look at Zion's playing style, everything he does borders on the spectacular. That one falls. And an important part of every team's game, a look at the hustle stats for the Pelicans. What I love, and the coaching staff has to love, is the defense. They've really brought the energy with all these blocks we've seen in this one. And also, guys, they've been showing how dangerous they are in the open floor. When they see a chance to get easy points, boy, they just jump at it. Timeout called by the Kings. And as fans and broadcasters, we're not permitted to hear the specifics in these huddles. No, we're left to infer from the adjustments we see on the floor. Sabonis finds Barnes. And Valanciunas pulls it down. Valanciunas has got rebound number 13 with that last one. Williamson, the pass to Ingram. McCollum dishes to Ingram. Lock at six. Puts it up from 15. And it's Sacramento with the rebound. Outside, Fox. Pelicans pull it in. Williamson's got nine rebounds now tonight. Barnes grabs the miss. The Kings trail by 12. And it's good for two. Barnes has got seven. Just a difficult shot that Barnes makes look so simple, so creative how he brushes off the defense. Timeout. Timeout call here. The Pelicans decide to talk it over. Once again, fans, put your hands together. That was your Pelicans dance team. Cullen passes to Ingram. McCollum deciding where to go with it, and they pick up two. 16 points for him. Love that they're continuing to attack despite being up big. I'm impressed with their intensity tonight. They have came in focused, and they've executed. To the paint. And oh boy, King a lot of contact ball. there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Personal That's foul. on Keegan First Murray. Foul. A true physical specimen. It's tough to keep up with Zion's athletic ability. And this will be his second and third shots at the line here. Free throw good from Williamson. And both free throws good for Williamson. And so Fox will bring it up for the Sacramento Kings. They trail by 14. Pass to Ellis. Count that Ellis. bucket. Ellis has got seven points for the quarter. And how about the awareness there from Fox? You, you got to love seeing how he is such a willing passer in finding the open man. Now here's Ingram. He's got 18. Valanciunas dishes to Ingram. Rebound by the Kings. Murray kicks to Ellis. Outside, Fox. To the inside, Barnes. Kicks it out to Ellis. And the call is going to be Yes, yes it is. An illegal screen. And not the most common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue that it wasn't illegal. 
It's often a tough call that can go either way, but I agree with you on that one. Mitchell, he's checked in for the Kings. Now, here's Alan Junis. He's got 10. Here's Ingram. Gets to the rim for two with the D all over him. Ingram's got the lead up to 14 now for New Orleans. Fox with it. Now, Valanciunas defending. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And we talk about Fox's speed, but he also has a length. He's a factor there in the paint. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots of the game right here. Taking two shots. Shoot two. First one falls for him. Fox hits them both. Wow, they've made every free throw here in the second half. Pelicans leading by 12. McCollum outside. Down low. Here's Fallon Shumas. That shot is off. Now Sacramento takes it the other way. Murray for three. Score the basket. His eighth. Eight for 13 from the floor. This is the shot you want to get him. An open look from range. McCollum outside. There's the pass to Fallon Shumas. Six on the shot clock. High post try. And that one's good. Ingram. Ingram's got 22 points. Showing some nice handles in the pick and roll. Ingram's creativity is fun to watch in these sets. Murray outside. Off target with his three. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. And it's Williamson missing. The Kings trail by 11. Ellis surveying the D. On the wing, Ellis knocks it loose to the paint. Here's Mitchell. Yes, and it's Davey Ellis picking Mitchell. up the assist. The assist. Ellis has got four Ellis. assists now tonight. Trying to attack the heart of that defense with great teamwork. Mitchell against McCollum. Rebound by Mitchell. Sacramento's gone into the three-point range four times since halftime and buried two of them. Passes it to Sabonis. And slam dunk by Sabonis. Man, I love it when Sabonis throws it down. Listen, we know he can shoot it from deep, but the dunk is easy money, baby. Now here's McCollum. He's got 16. Here's Valanciunas. Good for basket number six for him in the contest. He's shooting six for 12. That's a well-timed, well-coordinated play. Comes right off the pick for the lay-in. Ingram against Mitchell. Murray for three. Rebounded by Valanciunas. Valanciunas has got his 16th rebound on the night. Williamson. Rebound by Murray. Murray's got six rebounds now in the game. Sacramento. Some changes for Sacramento. Alex Lenz check in for court. Sabonis. And Trey Lyles subbed in for Murray. And so it's Mitchell who brings up the ball for the Sacramento Kings. Nine-point game. That's good from Fox on the assist by Mitchell. Mitchell's got six assists in the game. And not relying at all on the three-point shot. Uh, they may want to rethink about stretching the defense a bit like they did in that first half. Now here's Nance. King. He's still scoreless so far in this one. And the call will be against Alex Land. That's his first foul. There's 126 left for the third. 
and there's the whistle. Illegal, Illegal screen. screen. And not the King most common ball. call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. It's often a tough call that can go either way, but I agree with you on that one. The Kings trailed by seven. Mitchell passes to Ellis. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Yeah, easy call. For Sacramento, they have made their free throws at a pretty good clip. They've hit eight of ten. At the line for the Kings. Ellis. Two shots. Shoot two. And he knocks down the first one. He's off on the second. Solid rebound there. And with the score like it is, that's an area where they can't afford to get lazy. Here's Alvarado, covered by Mitchell, and it's Alvarado missing. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can not count on him to continue missing. Yes, that goes in. Aaron Fox. He is a blur. I mean, Fox obviously skilled at breaking down the defense, coupled with his athleticism and size. Boy, he is a terror. Now here's Williamson. He has 29. And the Pelicans miss again. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Ellis outside. Over Williamson. Here's Len. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. His hard work on the backboard really just has given them more opportunities to score. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. One shot. One shot. New Orleans in the lead. Got to run the clock and wait for the last shot. Yes, you do, but it's a dilemma. If you get a great look earlier in the clock, do you take it? Here's Williamson, and finished off by Williamson. Oh, he got fancy with that one. Yeah, maybe trying to give them the momentum boost they need to break this game open. And so, guys, it's Zion Williamson making things happen for the Pelicans. Between his points and his rebound, he was a star for him in that quarter. And we've got more on 2K Sports coming your way after this break. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. And, you know, you can always count on him for at least a couple of these pretty assists over the course of a game. And this one, a thing of beauty. You see why they trust him with the ball in his hands. He can make the simple play, and he can pull off the spectacular. It's Tara, baby! We and thanks for joining us for this fourth quarter of this play-in game. We've got Larry Nance, and it's Alvarado in the point guard position. So that's the group out there for New Orleans. Rebound by Murray. The Kings trailed by three. Here's Mitchell. That's in there. Murray with the assist. The assist. And how about the grit wow. and determination in the post? I mean, essential qualities to have late in a close game. Here's Alvarado. Sinks the three-pointer. And the Pelicans lead by four. And those are the types of shots down the stretch that win you ball game. Barnes with it. To the wing right side. Six to shoot. Murray, no good. Pelicans leading by four. And the ball out of play. The Kings will inbound. A little 
little over a minute of the fourth quarter gone right now. On the wing, Mitchell jacks up a three, and Jones pulls it down. I'm shocked that didn't turn into three points. I mean, he makes you pay on those nearly every time. Here's Alvarado, covered by Mitchell. He muscles it in through the contact, and they call the foul. And he's on his way to the free throw line. Well, you like how aggressive he is making a play at the rim against the win. And let's forget the height disadvantage. He brings the effort, and he brings the energy. At the line for New Orleans, Jose Alvarado. One shot. Final quarter of play, about a minute and a half off the clock into it. Now, here's Mitchell. Murray outside. Over Jones. Nice spin off the left rim and in. 21 points for Keegan Murray. And that's right in his wheelhouse. Looking to make an impact when it counts. It's the fourth quarter and it's a close game. You want to get the ball to someone you can rely on. Jones, no one around him. The shot's good on the assist by Daniels. And the Pelicans lead by eight. Mitchell right side. Barnes outside. Now Wilds. Just five on the clock. Murray, no good. Just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. Here's Jones. Out to Nance. Some nice passing here by New Orleans. Floats one. And there's the foul. It's on Trey Lyons. And that's foul number two for him. I mean, I like the call. I thought the defense was just there a little late. Fallon Junis, he's checked in for New Orleans. Then for the Kings, Zabonis, he's checked in for Alex Land. Ellis comes in for Trey Lyles. And De'Aaron Fox subbed in for Davion Mitchell. Here's Alvarado, covered by Barnes. And it's Alvarado missing. Frozen. Guy is just ice cold, unable to contribute offensively. Barnes can't get it to go. New Orleans leading by eight. Jones looking for an opening. Here's Alvarado. Shot clock at six. Back to Jones. And the Pelicans miss again. The Kings trail by eight. Outside, Sabonis tipped away. Here is Daniels, defended by Sabonis. Daniels, no good. And so it's Murray who brings the ball up for the Kings. He kicks it to Fox. He takes it in. Ring shot on the way. And there's Murray on the assist by Fox. And that's 23 points for Keegan Murray. And that's one of Fox's strengths, trying to involve his teammates first. A really good passer who wants to play for his guys. Pass to Alvarado. Lock at six. Three-pointer, Daniels. Sacramento grabs the miss. Sabonis has got rebound number 19 now. Incredible board work. They get the rebound. Count the basket. The determination from Barnes. He never gives up on the offensive glass. Pelicans leading by four. Here's Alvarado. Kicks it out to Jones. The tray. And it's Sacramento with the rebound. Barnes has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. You know what? They're winning, though, despite the fact that he has just been really off. Here's Fox. Unable to get that one. New Orleans has gone a disappointing 2-6 on three-point attempts here in the fourth. To the right side. And the basket by Alvarado. 
and the Pelicans lead by seven. Not shy from outside. There, there's no doubt about that. Spreading the floor and hitting them up. New Orleans foul. Jose Alvarado. First personal foul. First team foul. Substitution for your Pelicans. Zion Williamson. Red Here's Fox. CJ McCullough. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Jonas Valanciunas. Gets on Jonas Valanciunas. They are making it look easy team at the free throw line here in the second half. Shooting for Sacramento. De'Aaron Fox at the line for two. Free throw good. Fox. And one of the problems in the first half, that shoddy work at the free throw line. They needed to fix that, and they've been much improved since the break. Fox hits them both. New Orleans leading by five. And here is Ingram. And the basket is good. Ingram's got ten points here in the second half. Brandon Ingram possesses grace and power. He mixes them together for a big finish. And he drops in the layup off the glass. And that's 15 points for Ellis. Right to the rim. Aggressive approach when it matters most. Coming down the stretch, you know this. You want to go to something that's bankable. That's as good as it gets. Scooped up. And another shot. Valanciunas. And the call on the shot sends him to the line. Second, being that Valanciunas is seven feet tall, he is a real problem for the defenses. At the line for New Orleans, Jonas Valanciunas. At the line for two. And that one misses. Jonas Valanciunas is a skilled big man with strong fundamentals. And he sinks the second. And done a much better job from the line this half. They've gotten that percentage up over 80 for the game. Here's Fox. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. Third personal foul. Third team foul. At the line for the Kings. De'Aaron Fox. Two shots. First free throw is good. Fox hits them both. I love how hard he's playing, really since the break. All the defense can do at this point is foul him. Ingram outside. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Second. Harrison Barnes picks one up. Tough inside. Ingram's got a lot of moves he can beat you with. Brandon Ingram taking two shots. First free throw is good. And good job bringing that free throw percentage up here in the second half. Doing a great job at the line. That 
that one falls, so he hits both of them. Yeah, and their free throw shooting has really improved here in the second half. Fox against Jones. At the elbow, Murray. The kick out to Barnes. Three-pointer. Doesn't go that time. So the Pelicans will take it the other way. They've led by as many as 14 points. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. 15 foul. At the line for New Orleans, Herbert Jones. Two shots. And that one falls for Jones. And so Jones nails both of them. The Kings trail by eight. Pass to Ellis. From downtown, Cyan Williamson grabs the miss. Williamson's got rebound number 11 for him here tonight. Colin pass it to Valanciunas. And the dunk yeah, by yeah, Valanciunas. Yeah. Jonas Valanciunas, the big fella, dominating in the paint. Fox against Jones. Ellis outside. Six on the shot clock. Sabonis, the pass to Fox. Sacramento needs to get off a shot. Again, the miss by the King. New Orleans leading by 10. Outside, Jones. Grabs the rebound again. He holds in his 20th rebound. Dominating the glass. Yeah, that's a great shot. Third three of the game for him first in this half. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Stolen by McCollum. Inside, here's Ingram. And that comes off the assist by Joe. Ingram's got six in the quarter. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Here's Fox. And Jones sends it back. It's McCollum on the wing, defended by Sabonis. McCollum passes to Valanciunas. Over Ellis. Again, the Pelicans score. And they're getting points. They're getting stops. And this is how they'd like to play all the time. Yes, when it's going good, it feels easy. These are the nights you relish, but they're tough to replicate. Sabonis, no good. All the energy is on the other side right now, and every miss just makes it worse. You know what? This has always been a debate. Do you take the time out, or do you let your guys try to fight through it? And so it's Murray who brings the ball up for the Sacramento Kings. Trailing by 17. Trying to shoot himself out of his slump. And it's not going well. Now here's Ingram. Loads it up for Williamson. An emphatic LU jam. Unselfish, good decision maker. Brandon makes his teammates better. Now a timeout called by Sacramento. Zion Williamson with a strong contribution so far, guys, in this one. And he's been taking it to the rack all game, and they haven't been able to contain him. They have to put up better fight on the inside. And now a moment to present the New Balance Player of the Game, Brandon Ingram. And, guys, he's been about as close to perfection as you can be. The intensity he's played with has been amazing. Just no let up. And as fired up as he's been, he's never let his emotions get out of control. And with the playoffs on the horizon, he'll be looking to stay in peak form as long as he can. Now, here's Fox. Looking to end the run. And it's Williamson with the rebound. 
And the truth is, I've been there. He's trying to find the rhythm on his shot. He feels like he's close, and that's why he keeps shooting. McCollum finds Williamson. That far. Nice feed that time for McCollum. McCollum's got six assists now in the game. The Kings trailed by 21. Ellis with it. Outside, Fox. Sabonis trying to get open. Fox, no good. New Orleans has gone outside a lot tonight. 17 times, in fact. 7 of 17. 8 for 15 with that made basket. But he's not satisfied yet. Yes, and, and with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched it. Just a total mismatch and a true show of strength for the Pelicans. It was a standout performance across the board. I mean, it was like watching a cat play with a mouse. They, they were able to do more or less whatever they wanted. All right, Greg, feeling like a done deal. The seven seed coming in here and taking command of this game. And I would guess they're breathing a sigh of relief right now. Couldn't avoid the play-in tournament, having barely missed out on automatic qualification for the playoffs. And as one might have guessed coming into this game, it was indeed another big game tonight for Zion Williamson. High-level shot making what we got a chance to witness. He responded to good defense with better offense time and time again. That one is off. And he's good on the second. The King shooting around 41% on the night. Ellis, the pass to Murray. There's 45 seconds left in the fourth quarter. From deep, Ellis hits the three-point bomb. Yeah, clearly a defensive lapse there. He is automatic from deep if you're going to leave him that wide open. Big time mistake. Now here's McCollum. Now here's Alan Junis. In the corner, it's Ingram. McCollum outside. Shot clock at six. And the Pelicans miss again. Williamson against Fox. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Herbert Jones. Clearly a foul. Personal foul. Fourth team foul. Shooting for Sacramento. De'Aaron Fox taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. And so he's able to get one of two. Now Valanciunas. And they've done it. The New Orleans Pelicans get it done. And how huge is it to come in here for this playing tournament game and deliver? They have secured their spot in round one of the NBA postseason. Well, and as the seventh seed, they felt they like they should safely. be in the playoffs. We'll see you at the they next came out and played like they did all season and showed why they deserved that spot. And that'll wrap this one up. No.